Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Let's go by Drew Band. All right, y'all. We back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, y'all see the title. We back again with another girlfriend catches her boyfriend cheating. No, I'm saying. I, in, in reality, in reality, the last person we, we watched, it was the little kids that caught cheating. Somebody said that the little girl, if y'all didn't watch that video, go watch it now, no, I'm saying. We, we, it was a little girl that caught her little boyfriend cheating with another little girl, no, I'm saying. Somebody said there was a part two to that where the girlfriend that got cheated on found herself a boyfriend. Y'all, I can't find the video. Y'all send it to me on Instagram over there at Juvenile underscore. I want to make a reaction to it because I want to watch it. Even if I don't make a reaction to it, I want to watch it. So somebody sent me the link to that video. But today, we got a grown people. Um, girlfriend confronting her boyfriend cheating video. I don't know. These videos be, they be, I be feeling bad. Not saying. I personally have not been cheated on. Um, well, not of my, to my knowing. I would hope I haven't been cheated on. But, um, dang. I should not said that, huh? But anyways, um, I, if I found out my significant other had cheated on me. I, I y'all let me know in the comments below. Have y'all ever been cheated on? What did y'all do when y'all got cheated on? Did y'all spaz on the person that uh, on your girlfriend or boyfriend, or did you spaz on the person that they was cheating on you with? Let me know what y'all would do if y'all found out y'all y'all person cheated on you. Cause I personally, I don't even want to talk about it. But yeah. before we get into the video, joy.com I say my two to third free my lump say so fifty dollars. Yeah, that's really about it. Actually. You need one of these. You see it's fire. Sexy, you want it, you need it. You can't brush a Jurag, but you can brush your hair and get yourself some waves, you know what I'm saying? Wavecreator.com, literally right there. Uh, link inside the uh, comment section too as well, but without further ado, it's just hype right into this. Are you serious right now? What's Whoa. going on here? Whoa. Are you serious, Marcus? Whoa. What is this? What's going on here? Nothing. No, tell me what you're doing here right now. Today I want to tell you guys about the time that we helped Yo-Yo place her boyfriend Marcus to an epic loyal- Wait, is he black? Is he black? Can we t I think he- I don't think he's black. I think he like Mexican or something. He's not black. He can't be black because black men don't cheat. I, I be explaining this to y'all 24-7 all the freaking time. Black men do not cheat. Now a black boy, I'm not saying a black boy might cheat. And that's a big might. But a black man like myself, we do not cheat. I'm, is he black? I can't tell. Gotta lean back for this one. I can't tell. Maybe it's the lightning. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's the lightning. We go see them. Okay, okay. What you doing here with Mama saying that? I already told you to start following appointments. I'm showing you the follow-up appointments. Oh, so you a doctor too? You a doctor too? Marcus, Marcus, this is a date. This is a date. I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her. It goes without saying that Marcus ended up failing this loyalty test. But before I can let you guys watch the rest of this confrontation, I gotta give you guys some short, sweet context. So during lockdown, this is some quality video. Whoever made this video, hold on. Who made this video? Um, UDY. This is some quality content. I like this. Marcus picked up photography as a hobby, and Yo-Yo was helping him out by asking some of her friends to model for him. Well, this is where Yo-Yo's trust issues began. See, some of Yo-Yo's friends ended up telling her that during their photo shoot, Marcus was acting a little thirsty. Ooh. And well, to make a long story short, Caught. it was this thirsty behavior that made Yo-Yo want to place Marcus to the test. Yo-Yo, how are you feeling? I don't really know what to expect, and it's kind of sad to say that, you know, I don't trust my boyfriend 100%, but... <laughs> well, I mean, I, you do have your reasons, though. Right, I I just hope that he, you know, proves me wrong and that I can trust him, that's right. all. Well, this is what I say. Go in expecting the worst, hope for the best. That's it. I'm sorry. It, oh my goodness. <laughs> so she the, she, the, she, the, she the little girl that the man finna cheat on her with. So it's all playing, okay? She in this. And the white girl is in this too. This is kind of like, if y'all used to watch that show on, on um, I forgot what channel it came on. It's like um, car bait or something like that. Where it's like they leave an unlocked car with the keys inside the ignition in the hood. And nobody in it. They leave the door unlocked. They leave it in the hood. And whoever steals it, um, it's not even stealing because the keys, well I guess it is stealing. But the keys is in the ignition. So they just take the car. Um, it's kind of setting somebody up for failure. That's kind of cheating. I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's fair. I don't, is this fair? I don't, I don't know. But this is like setting somebody up. But at the same time, they shouldn't fold. Cause I would never fold, Destiny. 
Even if I seen a Lamborghini with the keys and ignition, I'm not gonna steal the car. So I guess the people, the only people that would steal the car is potential thieves, like people that would fall for the the big girl or the girl that's it would cheat a potential. I don't know, man. It's cheating. This is this is. Oh, so you got it like that. Okay. No, not like that. <laughs> so our friend Madeline would be our decoy. For this test, we had to pretend to be one of that? Yo-Yo's friends and reach out to Marcus. Madeline pretended to want to work with Marcus and ended up convincing him to come take pictures of her at her supposed home. Now, what Marcus didn't know, though, is that this wasn't really Madeline's home. What he also didn't know is that this was all just the first portion of his loyalty test. Yo-Yo would be in another room watching and listening in to see if Marcus would make a move on Madeline or not. Nice. Now, if Marcus didn't make a move on Madeline, we instructed Madeline to flip the tables and make a move on him. Okay. Okay, this is spicy. I like this. This is some good Marcus. content. So Madeline just got a call that Marcus is here. Okay, awesome. Let's give me at the front door. Hello. Hey, how are you? Nice to finally meet hey, you. Me too. How, how was the drive? Uh, it wasn't bad. Not bad. Not bad. There's a lot of stairs here, just to forewarn you. <laughs> so this is the living room. I did want. That to boy Marcus is is ready. The, the one upstairs. He came with the camera. <laughs> so I'll walk you up to the balcony upstairs. Well, I changed into my my first outfit. Okay. So some of Yo-Yo's friends have told her that Marcus was acting a little flirty during their photo shoots, right? Well, for the first portion of this test, we wanted to see if Marcus would end up acting like that with Madeline. Um, but I'm gonna go get changed into my first outfit. There's two, by the way. Um, so if you want to just take a seat, do you need anything at all? Oh, no. Do you, 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 have any, you have any other equipment? No. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Well, just hang tight. I'll be back shortly, okay? Madeline was gonna give Marcus two outfit changes, or AKA a little over 30 minutes to shoot his shot. After changing into the first outfit that she would be modeling, Madeline then made her way back upstairs to Marcus. Okay, 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 okay. Yo-Yo watched on through the wireless scope for a connection. So, so far he's loyal. He hasn't done nothing wrong. So far he is loyal. So far he is not doing nothing wrong. Marcus, we're rooting for you, man. Do not fold if you, do not fold. Cause all men don't cheat. I think this song is black men don't cheat actually. But if you black, you don't cheat, man. Come on. And contrary to what we thought would happen, the photo shoot was actually quite professional. Marcus didn't he valid. Put Madeline in her first outfit, so Madeline went back downstairs, changed, and then came right back up with her second outfit now on. Oh, he's really good at those angles. <laughs> okay, nice. Looks on looks today. You know. Those last ones were great, right? Now. Yeah. Marcus took some cool pictures of Madeline, which you'll see how we got them later, but he wasn't flirting with her. Sure, there were compliments. He has not there, folded. Photography base. He has not folded. It's a little hot. Yeah, let's definitely do oh, yeah. that. I'm like sweating. I definitely do. <laughs> so Marcus remained professional and didn't end up making a move on Madeline. So it was now time for Madeline. This man is not folding. He is a strong black man. We like that. A strong black man. Line to flip the script. As instructed, Madeline brought Marcus back inside by asking him if she could check out the photos and share a small celebratory drink with him. So just take a seat here. I will take, take a seat there, man. Right out. She will change. Google Analytics and hated it. Then we switched to a review. From Did you cheat on your girlfriend, lady, time. or boyfriend? And we're gonna have a celebratory drink, by the way, so prepare yourself. Just start pulling up the pictures, okay? Of course, the real reason why Madeline invited Marcus back inside and offered him a drink was because she was about to ask him on a date. Oh. I am so wet. Hey. <laughs> okay, so let's okay. do that drink. Okay, Adam, actually, Mark. Is that cool with you? Sure. Like sparkling water, but spikes? Oh, I guess. White claws. <laughs> like the claws, exactly. But they're truly. Yeah. Marcus ended up taking the bait and okay. accepted a drink from Madeline. We had Madeline offer him a drink in the first place as a way to keep him there for at least 20 minutes. Okay. See, drinking and driving is of course illegal, so the second that Marcus were to take one sip, Madeline could guilt trip him into staying for as long as she needed wait. to make her move. Wait, 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 wait. They said taking one sip. That thing is like 1% alcohol. You is not drunk or drinking when you take a sip of that. Marcus, Marcus is, uh, is a little hefty, so it's going to take a little more for him to get a little bit lit. A little sip is not going to make him have to stay there for 20 minutes. Y'all plan is flawed. Y'all should have given him 10 shots of Hennessy. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, photos out. 
I did have a few of them done in a few hours. I'll have the rest of them done by the end of the week, though. Very professional, Marcus. I definitely like a more natural like edit, you know, nothing like crazy. Crazy Photoshop. And yeah, yeah. And all that stuff. yeah. Why is he still sitting there? <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't understand. You what know, you like, mean? Why is he, wait, wait, he, why is he still sitting there? He's, he's cooling down right now. He, he just shot all them shots. He hasn't done nothing wrong yet. Has he? Y'all let me know in the comments. I don't think he done nothing wrong yet. He just, well, is he still shooting? Is she gonna change more outfit? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you usually, you usually drove here, right? Yeah. Okay. So, you're gonna have to wait a little bit to leave. Sorry, because... <laughs> I'm about to wait. <laughs> no drinking and driving, come on. <laughs> drinking and driving, it's a, it's a sparkling water. Exactly. 5% is 5%, okay? 5% yeah, is nothing. 1% stop doing it. That's not insane. I know he's not falling for that. I know he is not falling for that. Why is he still sitting there? <laughs> like, doesn't that sound suspicious to you? He's wrong. He could call him even. So you got any cool plans for the weekend? Nah, not this <laughs> I gotta chill, this has been a lot of work this week, so yeah. gotta edit these pictures. So. True, true, you're right, you're right. Well, if you find some time, um, I am throwing a party next Saturday if you want to oh, come through. Nice. Where? Here? No, I'm actually gonna run an Airbnb, so like a little bigger house. Mm -hmm. It starts nice. like at 8, but if you want to come in earlier, maybe you can bring like the final edits in and you can show them to me. I guess so. Yeah. That should be a problem. Like if you come around 4, I think we'll have time to like look at the photos. And maybe we can take a dip in the pool, maybe order food, I can set up a little picnic, you know. A dip in the pool, eh? You try to go skin a dipping off the truly, huh? Okay. Like into like cute Gotcha, little Madeline. Little mini date. Madeline, whatever the heck her name is. Yeah, a little cute little mini date, you know. If you're up for it, of course. Yeah, I'm cool. definitely down for that. Really? Okay, mm -hmm. I'll set it up then. Oof. How does this not sound suspicious? So our tactical move had worked. Madeline was able to keep Marcus there until she made her move. And after making her move, she proceeded to kicking Marcus okay. out. Okay. I have like an errand to run. I'm so sorry. I have to cut this short. <laughs> you like kicking me out? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not kicking you out. You're more than welcome to stay. Just kidding. No, I'm not. I got to finish my alcohol though. I thought it was about my safety. Cause, cause, I know. Um, nah, sorry. you got what you wanted. So now it's time for me to go. <laughs> wow. So this is what he does. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like I said, now we just have to wait a week and stuff. So Madeline is pretty much just gonna message him. Oh, and stuff. if he shows up, it's over. <laughs> it is over. So maybe just oh, they f oh, I thought it was all gonna be done in one day. Okay, so she gonna text him, hit him up, be like, yo, slide back to the crib. I'm trying to go skinny dipping. That's what she go. Okay. Maybe that one drink that Marcus drank made him susceptible to agreeing to go on this mini date with Madeline. Maybe okay. it really messed with his head, you know? That's why Yo-Yo decided to give Marcus a chance to go home, sleep off the drink, and then decide if he really did or didn't want to go on that mini date with Madeline. Unfortunately, though, after Madeline texted him later that week, Marcus was still down to go through with the mini date. Dang. Now, as you guys recall, Madeline had told Marcus that they would be getting together at a bigger house, but we decided to save some money and execute the second phase of this test at our apartment. I mean, besides, all we were doing this time around was simply waiting and seeing if Marcus would actually end up showing up, which, as you all know, he eventually did. This is one of the ring cameras downstairs for when they're in the kitchen and stuff, because there's no cameras like pointing towards the kitchen, so I'm just going to set this up right over here so you can like, see that too, okay? Yo-Yo, myself, and the rest of our crew hit upstairs as Madeline waited for Marcus to arrive. Oh, this is crazy. Soon enough, Madeline ended up receiving the call that Marcus was here. Hey. Hold on, huh? Marcus had arrived as he said he would, and with him, he brought an unexpected surprise. Unbeknownst to us, Marcus brought Madeline a vodka bottle and a whole... That boy got a real drink. And a teddy bear. Okay, Marcus, step in your game. Well, no, this is bad. He's cheating. This is not good. You should not be stepping your game up. I, for a second, I, I forgot what video we watching. He's cheating. This is hard. Marcus, you're a horrible person. Old damn teddy bear. How are you? Oh, I'm okay. You saw that and thought of her. What about your girlfriend? Oh, my God. I don't know. Marcus. Can you see here? Let's zoom in here. Can I offer you anything to drink? Uh, no, do a kinship bath. Yeah, it's right behind you. A bottle. And a teddy bear. And a teddy bear. <laughs> I understand the bottle, because it's a party. Right. But the teddy bear? He's sprung. That's what it is. He's definitely sprung right now. This is ridiculous. Remember, Marcus thinks that there's a party happening later tonight. So like Marcus, my boy, you done messed up. The you done messed up, my boy, Marcus. I'm sorry. In my opinion. How was your drive? Oh, it was wasn't bad at all. Wasn't bad. Good. I'm glad. 
Regardless, though, all Madeline had to do was he wearing the same pants? Hold Marcus there until Yo-Yo was ready to confront him. Madeline did so by asking Marcus to finally airdrop for the pictures that he took of her. She would be checking them out for the very first time for as long as she could. So Madeline pretty much has completed her job. She sat him down right where we wanted her to. Um, now she's just basically holding him there. So now it's pretty much just up to you if you still want Man, to what the have a conversation with him. Although you don't have to if you don't want to. You can always change no, your No, I, I want to. You want to? Yes. So do you think like this is enough? Because some people would actually consider it like, oh, he didn't even do anything with her. He didn't. He no, wants he to do something with her. L literally look at him. What is it with the teddy bear at the bottom? Like, just yeah, Marcus is done up. Marcus is gone. We lost Marcus. He's not a black man. Anymore. He's a black boy. If he's black at all, I don't know. But he's a black boy. He's not a black man. I should have known by the way his pants had zippers on it. I used to have pants that had zippers on it. But I was a kid back then. So, yeah, he a no black boy. Do that for all of your clients. <laughs> Ooh, who is she? Some people just look real good. Thank you. <laughs> so that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us back to where this video started. Okay. Yo Yo has decided that okay, Yo -Yo. Marcus, and I can now let you watch the confrontation in its entirety. Last thing before you do, though, don't forget to cop yourself some exclusive, limited new merch that we just dropped. Okay, oh. With that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm ready for this. I hope that it was worth the wait, and most importantly, I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know this shit's gonna be good. This is great. This is some quality production videos. I like this. This is some quality production videos. This is some qual. I like this. Okay, I'm ready. I don't got Takis. I don't got no food, but I'm ready. I'm intrigued. This girl from Turn Up. I can tell by the way her bun is up here with her hair Are ponytail. Are you serious right now? Oh yeah, slap him. Come on, slap him. Are you serious, Marcus? Slap him. Slap him. What is this? What's going on here? She's she not coming with the energy I wanted. She was supposed to slap him, but she sounds like she's about to cry. This is ridiculous. Are you serious? Are you Marcus? serious? Yes, Mark. Yes. What is this? What's going on here? Nothing. No, tell me what you're doing here right now. What are you talking about? I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her. You trifling. I'm trifling. Yeah. I'm trifling. You are trifling. I'm not trifling. Okay, okay. What you doing here with Roman saying then? I already told you this is a follow-up appointment. I'm showing her the follow-up appointments. Oh, so you a doctor too? You a doctor yeah. too? Marcus, Marcus, this is a date. This is a date. I'm showing her the pictures that I took of her. This is a date, and you are cheating on me I, right I, I, now. I and I need you to admit that you are cheating on me right now. Do I look dumb? So that's what the camera did. No, Marcus. No, no, no. This isn't an episode of Cheaters. This is an episode of me catching your dumb ass right hand. <laughs> I, I can see how you might think it's cheating. I would. Know. What would you call it? What would you call it, Mr. Professor? Tell everybody what you would oh, call oh, it. Okay, this is our follow up appointment. A follow up appointment from our first appointment. I'm showing her the pictures that I had. You know what, Marcus? God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. Stop telling the truth, I'm, please. I'm telling you the truth. No, you're. you're he's honestly, he's, he's, he's a bad liar, but he's, he's remaining calm and controlled, which is. Maybe he really don't think this is cheating. No, that's cheating. Buying her teddy bear, that's cheating. The vodka, I understand. It's just a little drink now, It's just a little bit of slurpy, slurpy. It felt, wait, big pause, man. Man, big pause. You know, you know what I mean. Just a little bit of lick, you know what I'm saying? But a little bit of lick. What's going on? Fucking life. The answers have been the same. And you still don't understand them. I am here for a follow-up How is this a follow-up appointment? You couldn't have just shut Send her the picture. What do you mean? We met once? Sir, you couldn't have. Sir, listen to me. You couldn't have just emailed her the photos. You couldn't have just emailed her the photos. She told me not to email me to it. She asked me to come over here. Oh, so you just do everything everybody tells you. It's dang work. Oh, this is working. This is working. It's worth your four hours prior to the party that you said you were coming here to attend. So, what are you doing here four hours early? The client asked me to come to her house mm -hmm. prior mm -hmm. to the party okay. that she's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. For like, you to I show her pictures. It's going to take your slow ass what? four hours to show her some pictures? It, That's, it, some it, it, That's some it, bullshit. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit and you know it. Stop lying. You look stupid right now, Marcus. That girl yo-yo going stupid right now, man. That girl yo-yo going in. She told you her intention. She told you her intention. You didn't have to physically come here and go on this little date with her. This little mini date or whatever you want to call it, Marcus. You're right. I did not have to. But the client asked me to. 
She asked me to come over here. Look, Madeline made it. Ma look at me. Ma so look at me. Madeline made it clear to you that her intentions were for the both of y'all to be on a date. Right. And you accept right. it. You accept it. Obviously, she invited me. You thought I just walked up in this bitch? Okay. You don't want to be doing any of this. She asked if one. You didn't introduce me to this bitch. <laughs> Because she asked me to come over. She asked you to come she over here for a date, Marcus, and you brought her a teddy bear and what else? A bottle. And a bottle. She said she was having a party. I brought oh. kids. Oh, okay. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait, no. Because I don't I really truly think Marcus doesn't think this is cheating. I wish my girl would pull up to some dude crib with a bottle and a teddy bear. A teddy bear? The bottle is okay. It's a bottle, you feel me? But a teddy bear? I don't wish. But he's he's I, he's so calm and serious. Like I don't think he think this is cheating. I think he think he fine. This is cheating, my boy Marcus. This is obviously cheating. So you just bring gifts yeah, for all your clients. But he's funny. You took parties that clients invite you to. Marcus. You show me the party. Marcus. Marcus. Oh, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Yo, what this? Yo, this man funny. They laughing behind the camera. I promise you, they laugh. Listen, I swear they laughing behind the camera. I swear. Market. You show Market. 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 Y'all heard that? You know what? You know what? You know what? I don't need a man that brings me this much money. I don't need a man that brings me this much stress in my life. I don't need a man that brings me this much stress in my life. You know what? I don't need a man that brings me this much stress in my life. You, you so, 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 stress. Oh my God. You so, 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 Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! I'm look at me! Look at me! I am talking <laughs> to you. I wait, wait, wait! He's she's like, look at me, look at me. And he's looking at her. He's like, I'm staring you straight in your face. No, this is hilarious. This is hilarious. Wait. And that brings me this much stress in my life. You, you so, 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 stress. Oh my God. You so, 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 I have trusted you, I have supported you, and I gave your sorry ass a chance, and this is all all that you have to say for yourself? That's your fault. Oh, so now I'm done because I tried to help because I tried to help you. Now I'm stupid. Now I'm stupid. Okay, you know what? I, I, I don't really want to deal with this anymore. Anybody wants a funny ass anymore, okay? The, what I need because No, no, what I need from you Listen to me! What I need from you is my phone back, okay? It's my phone because I paid majority of it. So give me my phone back, please. That's all. No, give me my phone back. You paid $200 and that's the majority of this brand. Yes, yes, no, I need the no, money back. I'm dumb. I need I, the I money need back. Cash, right? Just give me my, my money back, please. I don't have any cash. You don't have any cash. Nice okay, that's fine. That is perfectly fine, Marcus, because we accept Zelle, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, all the forms of electronic payments. So please just give me my money back. How am I supposed to send you money if I don't have any money? <laughs> okay, that is fine. That is fine. I'll just hold on to the phone. Mr. Professor, there's this little thing called a charger. Does anybody have a charger? Thank you, thank you. Uh, it makes no sense to do that. I have no money. Okay, well, like I was saying, since Marcus doesn't have any fucking money, give me the phone back and I'll hold on to it as collateral. Just give me the phone. Simple. Give me the phone and you can that, pay me that, that time. Makes no, sense. no, it makes that perfect makes no sense. sense. It makes perfect sense. Can I get paid? No, give me the you give me the phone. Me. Give me the phone. Sorry. We got the charger. Give me the phone. I don't have any money. What's the charger? Give me the phone. Wait around me. Are you that? Are you that? Give me the phone. Give me the phone. <laughs> Please, yeah. Yo, Mark is funny. I I can hold you. He doing a horrible thing by cheating, but. This is this is hilarious. This video was great. I love this video was absolutely amazing. This channel is great. I ain't never seen this channel before, but this channel is hilarious. Where are you going? You're going to the bathroom? Give me the phone first. Where, where, where are you going to the bathroom with my phone? So you're dumbass somewhere. This this man is fucking ridiculous. He's a fucking bastard. Did you have to go to the one or number two? So apparently Yo-Yo helped Marcus pay for his phone, and she's now asking for that money back or to hold on to the phone as collateral. The big question is though, will Marcus even give her any of that? Where's my phone, Marcus? Where's the phone? Marcus, where's the phone? In the bathroom. Where's my phone, Marcus? I, give me my phone. Actually, give me my phone. Give me my phone. I just told It better be in the fucking bathroom, Marcus. I swear, if this, if this phone is not in here, I will fucking burn all You ain't gonna do shit. Oh, fuck you, Marcus. Fuck you. I know he did not throw. 
Wow. He threw it in the toilet? Man, threw my phone in the fucking toilet and pissed on it. Come, come, come get this. Come get this. This is the fuck. What? Wait a minute. Marcus, no. Marcus, no. Marcus, wrong. Bad Marcus. In the fucking toilet and pissed on it. Come, come, come get this. Come get this. This is the kind of man that Marcus is. This is the kind of man that he is. He threw my phone in the toilet and he pissed on it. So rather than just coming to some sort of agreement with Yo-Yo about the phone, Marcus instead decided to stoop down to a very low level. I, I'm gonna grab all of his fucking equipment and I'm gonna light that shit on fire. <laughs> Are you good? Oh my goodness, no, I'm not okay right now. He threw my phone in the toilet. He's gonna take he that out? Oh, you you're toilet. dubbing it, dubbing it, not doing it. I'm dubbing it, I'm dubbing it, I'm not doing it. Oh my god, that is so nasty. I'm dubbing it. I'm, I'm dubbing it. I'm not doing Somebody that. Somebody please tell me what I'm supposed to do with that. And I don't know what kind of diseases Marcus might have now that he's been running around on me. I will get the one on the charger and see if it still turns on. This is what happens. This is what happens when you trust men. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's Okay, don't, not trust men. Not uh, trust little boys. Yes, that's what happens when you trust little boys, but I'm a man. I'm very trustworthy, very wholesome. The, the whole, most wholesome YouTuber in the entire world. Prime show. Most wholesome man in the entire world uh, as a whole. I'm saying. It's the truth of it. This is what happens when you trust men. Don't group us all together. Do not, do do not really group us all together. Him. Like He actually threw my, he had the audacity to throw my phone in the toilet and then pee on it. Like what kind of animal does that? Because I don't know. He is. He's an animal. Okay. I mean, I think they're waterproof. <laughs> Man, man, oh man, this video was great. He wants 100,000 likes, I'm liking this video right now. He ain't get 100,000 likes, they need 100,000 likes on this job. This job was hilarious. Y'all, tell me what y'all think in the comments down below. I, that was, that boy Marcus was hilarious. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing because he really cheated. But he ain't like cheat horribly. He cheated, don't get me wrong, he cheated. But he ain't like cheat horribly. Like he ain't grab her butt, he ain't kiss her. None of this, like he wasn't even fighting with her in the beginning or like that. I'm not justifying him cheating, but I'm like, he didn't go stupid. He kind of went extra at towards the end. He was just disrespecting her, calling all types of names, pissing on her phone, throwing it inside the toilet. But man, what the heck was that? That was that was that was that was. Y'all let me know what the heck y'all think in the comments down below. Make sure y'all tell me if y'all ever got cheated on. So I'm curious because I personally, I, I don't know what I would do. Let me know what y'all would do or what did y'all do if y'all got cheated on. And I'm um, yeah. If y'all want more videos or y'all want me to react to more reaction videos, react to more reaction videos. Sometimes I can't even English and it hurts me. But if you want me to react to more videos, hit my Instagram at Drewber underscore Demi. The link to the video if I react to it, I'm gonna shout you out. If I don't react to it, nothing's gonna happen. But um for your dip out, y'all know the vibes, Drew. I can't buy two third one, but up, big down, that's it. Wait, way to create it. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, and I'm gonna see y'all. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline They choose I, cause I'm way above you The waves make the haters love you When the ladies come through